What does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. Absolutely nothing. What makes you so sure? For telling the future with a pack of cards. Complete rubbish. Sam, so why are you afraid to try, sir? Afraid? <laughs> to participate in your ridiculous parlor game. Very well. Very well. Shuffle your cards. Foretell my destiny. Remarkable. Really remarkable. Well, I don't think there's very much more that we can say about that particular atrocity. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yes, atrocity is right. Now, what have we here? Yes, indeed. A work of notable incompetence, even from Mr. Eric Landor. You don't like my work, Mr. Marsh? Ah, the great man himself. One wonders why you come to my exhibitions so regularly, if my work displeases you. Duty, my dear sir, duty. My paper pays me to attend these exhibitions, so attend them I must. Whether the artist in question is a genius or a charlatan. And you consider yourself competent to judge? I don't feel my reputation as a critic has ever been called in doubt. In that case, I wonder why you never give me advice on how to improve my work. My dear sir, the only advice that I could possibly offer you would be give up. <laughs> uh, a harsh thing to say to a man who's been painting all his life with some measure of success. Success? If we are discussing money, pray let us not delay you any longer. I was under the impression we were discussing art. Take this masterpiece, for example. <laughs> Just what is it supposed to say? It is merely a series of splodges of paint applied without any creativity whatsoever. What is it supposed to mean? Oh, nothing specific. The viewer is supposed to react to it, to create his own meaning out of his own experience. So everyone will see something quite different in it. In other words, it means absolutely nothing. To those who can't see. But I can see, Mr. Landor, I can see very well, when there's something worth seeing. I live by my vision, Mr. Landor. Mr. Marsh, we have a canvas in from a young artist we're thinking of exhibiting shortly. I wonder if you'd mind telling us what you think of his work. Well, it's highly irregular. Oh, oh please, please, oh, please, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, very well, just this once. Thank you. Ah, oh, now, this is quite a different matter. Quite a different matter, indeed. Clearly the work of a creative artist of considerable promise. Notice the wide sweep of colour, the balance, the brushwork. Together with a certain denial of the accepted standards. The mock critical humour of the entire composition. You could learn a great deal about painting from this artist, Mr. Landor. Then I should very much like to meet him. Would that be possible? He's here now, as a matter of fact. Indeed. <laughs> My lords, ladies and gentlemen, we have as our guest of honor tonight, the eminent author and art critic, Mr. Franklin Marsh. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely honored to have been asked to address this fine organization, which has done so much to foster an interest in the arts. The world of art today, the world of art today, the day of the action painter is over. Soon art will regain its sanity and return to the fundamental representational principles of... You were saying, Mr. Marsh, uh, I, I must crave your indulgence. I have a pressing appointment. Oh, is 
so fascinating on this subject. Found out who the patient is yet, nurse? Yes, Eric Lander, the artist. Artist? Not anymore. The European Space Research Organization plans to ask the United States for permission to set up a satellite tracking station in Alaska. In London, the well known artist Eric Landor was the victim of a hit and run driver. Mr. Landor was taken to St. Michael's Hospital. He has not yet regained consciousness. Uh, words don't seem to be coming very easily today. Well, what you need is a drink. What? No, no, thank you very much. I've got to get home. Come on, just a quick one. Oh, thank you very much, George. I really must get on with this. All right. Who is it? Who is it?
Well, whatever you've been for the past few days, it's certainly improved your temper. Well, don't tell me he actually liked a painting for once. <laughs> well, I had a slight problem, but everything's all right now. Oh, well, that calls for a celebration. What are you going to have? No, no, no. Drinks are on me. Uh, miss, please. The same again, Lily, please. Uh, I heard you calling around, Frank. You know, that's too good to miss. Yes. Yes, please have anything you want. Anything at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Is he hurt bad? He'll live. Yeah. But he'll be blind for the rest of his life, poor guy. Ah! Still, there's lots of things a blind man can do. A very pretty story. Thank you. It is not always the story. <laughs> 